Here we go! Hello everyone, this is Adjir Lightning Lightning Rod, and we are finally playing Pikmin 2. This is a game I've been wanting to play for a very long time, so I'm glad I finally get to play it with y'all. Oh, I don't remember the game looking like that. I hope that goes away. Yeah, it does, okay. But anyway, we are finally playing this game. I don't believe I'm going to have too many bugs with it. I think I got the graphics just to the working standard. So, we should be able to play. Bzzzt, that was close. I have averted a crash landing running diagnostics. Alert, dangerous. Louis is missing. He must have somehow fallen out of his cockpit. He is not responding via his communicator. He is either floating protocol, flouting protocol, or in danger. Olimar, you must find Louis before he freezes to death in this cold, in the cold of the planet. Wait, wait a moment, look. Yep. Could these be pigmen? They look like they're about to be devoured as we speak. You must help them quickly. Press B to call them and whistle. I'm sure I know that because I just got off the planet anyway. Okay. Yep. This game just throws you into it. The Pikmin ran to your side. They seem to remember you, Captain Olimar. How fascinating. Give them instructions. Hold A to grab Pikmin and release them to throw it. Yeah, Pikmin 2 is a game guys have been wanting to do for quite some time. Yes, making sure the C-Stick works. And it's a very interesting series. Um, as I said, it's very underloved by Nintendo. At least in my opinion it is. Okay, let's see. Sorry, there's a lot of dialogue in the beginning parts. Attention, Captain Olimar, I have just re-established my communication link with Louie. It is, it is fortunate we managed to... Yeah. It is fortunate we have managed to confirm his safety. Press Y to communicate with him. I am quite interested in the details of his condition. assess your condition and as per our safety protocols, are you at all injured? Is that so? Then my concerns are eased. You didn't say anything. Our communication links show that you are nearby. Can you make your way to our location and rejoin us? I will navigate for you. Press start, pause to contact me and obtain information. Okay. I didn't think I needed to do that. Alright, yeah guys, I've been wanting to do Pikmin for like, ever. It's such a good game, and it's just really fun. I'm glad I finally got it working. Okay, it's a cutscene. Hmm? Louis, the odd object for you appears to be one of the onions mentioned in Olimar's report. The seed the onion ejected just sprouted. According to Olimar's report, it can only it can be plucked with A. Yeah, Louis is a different, like an interesting case altogether. This must be one of the Pikmin creatures from Olimar's report. It is staring at you. You can use C to issue objectives to your Pikmin squad and even distract them for a moment. You can disband your squad with X. Interesting. Olimar's description of the creatures resembling Pikmin carrots is strikingly accurate. Louis, my sensors have detected drool in the corner of your mouth. Are you alright? Yeah, this is a very fun game, a perfect sequel to Pikmin. Now guys, the reason, um, I'm going to go on and do a little bit of explanation while I gather more Pikmin. The reason I'm doing Pikmin 2 is I'm really hoping I can talk my editor into doing a Let's Play 
of the original Pikmin. Um, I'm eventually going to have um, my um, some commentators with me, but for now we're um, going to be go um, focusing on the first deck. There is one problem with Pikmin 2. Uh, hold on, let's see if there's more dialogue. Yes. So I'm going to inject more seeds. The pellet that the flower must be to hold nutrients to breathe, Pikmin. Pikmin can gather nutrients. Alright, blah, 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 blah. Um, one thing about this game um, is the days aren't entirely set in stone like in Pikmin, um, like in Pikmin, um, 1. They are, oh, I am bad at that. See, in Pikmin 1, the days are set in stone. Meaning they're going to always take the same amount of... I did not tell him to do that. Okay, one. Okay, what I was saying was, the days in Pikmin 1, I believe, take around 15 minutes to complete. Um, but in Pikmin 2... The, oh, come on, listen to me. In Pikmin 2, the days... Well, the first day is always going to take a set amount of time. But, um... Have you noticed, in this Pikmin game, the seeds grow much faster than in Pikmin, um, much faster than in Pikmin, um, 1. When I disband Pik- hold on a minute. When I disband Pikmin, they are not pale, they are normal colored. There's a few other things that change, but one of the coolest things that change, and I'll get to that, get that in a second, are there any more pieces? No, okay. One of the coolest things, I think, are the fact that, see that? That's like a legit item in real life. That's a Duracell battery. I hope I don't get in trouble with copyright by saying that. Um, perhaps the subject is one of the treasures we are searching for. The only reason we found it is because you crash landed. How fortunate. We would be able to appraise it, but we must regroup with Alamar. First Elden to the camp, blah 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 blah. I knew that already. But yeah. Um, the goal of this Pikmin game is not to collect pieces. It is to actually... Hold on one second. It is actually to collect treasure. Mm. Which, is really, which is a really interesting touch, because every Pikmin game... Oh, hold on. These guys are elastic, I tell you that. Captain Olimar Louie, you are being ran out at last. This has been a troublesome start for our trip, but now you must feel assured that your combined wits can get through anything, correct? For now on, blah, 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 I, I know that. Um, but one thing I really do like about this game is it's not as... Well, Pikmin 1 was... It was an amazing game. And, I don't want to be Olimar. It was an amazing game. I really enjoyed it. But Pikmin 2 is literally just a better version. There's a lot more stuff to do. Um, what version of Pikmin 2 am I doing? I am doing the GameCube version, and here is why. Um, my computer can run games that... See, Pikmin and Pikmin... Um, see, Pikmin and Pikmin 2 um, both run at a solid 30 frames per second on the GameCube, and the, I don't know exactly what the... Um, I've been digging that up. I don't know exactly what the Wii, the Wii version of the remake of Pikmin 2 runs at. I'm pretty sure it'll be 60. I doubt they do 30 frames a second again. But that is why I'm doing it on the GameCube. Um, as far as I can tell, the graphics are pretty good other than that opening. I think it was a little buggy. It's not too bad. But as far as I can tell, the graphics are really good. Um, yeah, I really like it. Pikmin's a gorgeous game anyway. I, th I thought, to be honest with you guys, I thought, out of all the games I'd be able to record, Pikmin would be, like, the harder one, because I thought it would be bulkier with a lot of characters moving around on the screen. I mean, that was the reason I couldn't do Super Smash Bros. Melee, because there was a lot of too many characters moving around on the screen for my computer to handle it, until I can get an upgrade for it. Okay, now let's get this Duracell battery. One thing I want to tell you guys, am I going to beat this game? That's going to be a while. See, with Pikmin 1, you are timed with 30 straight days. In Pikmin 2, this is a free game, meaning that I literally can take as long as I like. Like, the game isn't timed, there's literally no way you can lose. Which kind of a bummer, bums me out. I really like games that give me a challenge. Um, but anyway, am I going to have commentators on this? 
yes, but not until I get further in the game, probably past this planet, or not, I mean, this not planet, this area, um, what am I going to do when this game is over? Well, this game has a challenge mode feature, which I'd want to do with, um, lock-on, which will happen eventually, um, but not until I beat the main story, so that you guys can see me, at least see all the animals. And isn't this really cool how the battery is like a legit version of what it looks like in real life? I mean, look at the detail on that thing. Hey, editor, can you pull up a picture of a real Duracell battery for that me? Yeah, look, look at the comparison. It's just, it's just really good. Alright, guys. Let's get this piece. Now, piece of the one. Now watch this, each little piece has a cute little nickname of what Olimar calls it. The Courage Reactor. It's worth 280 bucks. Our first day of exploration has yielded our first treasure. We will be done in record time. I took the liberty of naming it when I appraised it. The name reflects my current thinking. Leave it to me to think of catchy names for hit products. It is but one of my many talents. We shall end our first day here and report back to our president. His face will surely be joyous. However, to communicate with Hakatate, we must fly into the low orbit above the planet. We will not return to the surface until morning as to avoid the, not, uh, the dangerous nocturnal creatures. I know I read that wrong. Another fantastic day in the Pikmin world. Today's report. See how we did. Funds earned 280 Pocos. I'm gonna kind of try to make a voice for the president. You found your first bit of treasure. Fine work. Our future depends on your efforts, so check your treasure hoard regularly. I'll keep in to often. Keep up the pace. It was horrible. It doesn't sound anything like what he did. But whatever. That's my voice for the president. Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Pikmin 2. Um, I will be doing more episodes of this soon, guys. Glad you liked this series, and that's for, without further ado, this is your friendly neighborhood gamer, Ajir Lightning Rod, signing off.